Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tech Talk here at Rickety's Productions. Today we're going to be talking about the Nexus 6 store release, Samsung Knox being improved, and of course the new Messenger app by Google. So let's start off, we're going to get right into it, the Nexus store release. Uh, Manuel's going to be covering this section, and let me give you just a little format change with this show if you've been watching us uh, in the past shows. Now we're going to have each person bring up a section or something that I, they want to talk about, and then the other ones will put their input in there afterwards. So let's have Manuel start us off. Okay, so I did some research on Nexus 6. It's, uh, me and Ricky were planning on going to T-Mobile on the original launch date, but then they announced a few days earlier beforehand that they weren't going to have enough uh, supplies ready. But then we found out later that... Uh, they were going to even be shorter than the expected, and some stores wouldn't even have demo models. And since the size upgrade is definitely something that you want to check up on beforehand, and with it being a higher price than previous Nexus models, it's something that you're going to want to see in like person before you actually commit a few hundred on it. Okay, and next, uh, Sprint is offering it online for slightly more. And it's available for pre-order for weight delivery on AT&T. And so that's going to be uh, neat to see how it want, how it's launched. And so it's going to be delayed for T-Mobile um, from the original date to the 19th. That's this Wednesday. Yeah. So we'll, get, we'll go there this Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so expect a video on that uh, later. Um... The Nexus 6, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this with the next uh, iteration. Since the last two generations haven't been, haven't really handled launching well with the Nexus 4 mm -hmm. having uh, supplies problems. And the Nexus 7, uh, keep trying to keep up with all the demand for it later in the development. So hopefully uh, this gives T-Mobile and the other major companies that are offering it, uh, some extra time to ready up on supplies. The thing is, while it's not really going to be a huge seller like the iPhone 6, it's still surprising to see that Google had really low um, amounts of the Nexus already made and ready to be bought. So what about this pisses you off the most is the first question. The delay, personally, he has something different, but why can't we get this right? It's been three years, it's, oh my, it just pisses me off, like, get a device, it doesn't, I don't think it should be this much of a hassle, like, no, other devices don't have much of this hassle, it's like, oh, we're gonna have a release date, this, nope, sorry, we're gonna push another week. Yeah, I have, I actually have a lot of coverage on that that I'll get into as soon as I can give my And how on. mad are you, on a scale of one to ten? I'm going to say about a 7 to an 8, because I wanted to go see it. I really do. I, feel, ugh, I just want to see it. Fuck you, Google. <laughs> okay, Austin. All right, uh, so yeah, to answer that first question is, what about this pisses you off most? Um, my answer for the question is that Google underestimated the sell value of the product. I don't like that they kind of almost they undermarket their own device, not thinking it's going to be good, and it's... That's been the problem for the couple of years with the Nexus lineup is it's they've they've somehow managed to just screw this up every time. <laughs> they just can't get it right. They can't get their product sell value. And the reason that I was going to get more into this and it kind of really made me upset cuz I'll probably be I'm probably 8 out of 10 even though I'm not even going to be a customer getting the Nexus 6 anytime soon because I was reading an article on uh, the Google Play newsstand and there was an article that said, do we need Nexus program? Do we need the Nexus program? And what do you think of the Nexus program? That was the question. And personally, I think it's good for Google mm -hmm. and Motorola. I think the companionship between the two is really good to work. And then they had a little chart with a poll on it that said what people say. So people's response to it. And out of a 9,000 person poll, um, around 3,000 said more than ever. Uh, close to another 3,000 said yes. Not as relevant, said about 2,500, and then about 400 said no. So that's that's pretty big margin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's huge margin. So, I mean, it obviously is showing that a good majority of people think that this is important. 
Like there's a lot of people, and that's only just a 9,000 person poll, so it's not a lot of consumers that would buy the phone, but mm -hmm. that's a big deal to show on a low market scale. And then, so my personal thoughts on it are, I think Google under, underestimated the market they had for this phone and for the effort that was put in not sending enough stock. So even just enough demos was what was disappointing. And I say the Nexus program is a great program that really shows phone users the capacity and capability of what Google and Android can do. So that was my personal thoughts on it, just mm -hmm. because I think that it's a big, high-marketed phone, but they're not showing. So next, we're going to talk about some Samsung Knox. You want to get ready there? Um, I'm not going to really cover this, but do you know, for the common people, what is Samsung Knox? What the hell is it? Because <laughs> I personally, I had to look it up and I was like, what the hell is yeah, this? Yeah, I didn't... I... So Samsung Knox, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, I believe it started with the S4. I know for sure it's on there, at least personal Knox. Um, it brings um, enterprise. So people, you know how you get company phones when you work for certain companies and they get regulated with like certain apps that you get to use on there and stuff like that. Um, for any companies that use bring your own device, uh, they use they can use Knox. There's other options, but uh, Knox basically allows you to have a company phone that you actually bring in. So let's say I don't want a BlackBerry phone. I want a, a Galaxy S5. I can get Knox uh, if the camp company allows it, of course. And uh, it's like integrated with that system. So it's enterprise and for businesses. And of course, there's a personal level where you can like back up your stuff, which isn't as important. But uh, let's go into your section where you talk about the new partnership with Samsung Knox and BlackBerry BS12, which is BlackBerry's version of it. Go for it. All right. So yeah, as of last Wednesday in San Francisco, I believe. Yeah, in San Francisco, just this last week on Friday. So Samsung and BlackBerry have had a new team up. And this is basically my little rundown that I wrote with this. Samsung has had a program called Knox for a little while now, so as we had mentioned with the S4, was about when it was introduced, and now they're making adjustments in their software. Now we know what they do, um, and then now joining them is going to be BlackBerry, and BlackBerry had the idea that they could use it through their system, which is BES12, which is BlackBerry Enterprise Server, and they're saying that the new software will be an end-to-end -end security for Android. So, and then just to get more into it, BES 12, BlackBerry Enterprise Server, <coughs> which is a device management platform that BlackBerry believes can operate on all Android platforms. So they're thinking that this is going to go far with all companies going abroad with the software. Um, and then also Samsung Knox, which is the Samsung security software. And then that also allows it to be brought into other companies as a usable app. Um, now, one thing that was mentioned by, I'm, I can't remember exactly who it was that said this, but it was one of the people that was announcing this in San Francisco just this last week. And he said, we share the goal to provide enterprises with the most secure mobility solutions through this partnership with BlackBerry, said In Jong Ri, I believe. Senior Vice President of Knox Business Group, Samsung Electronics, Samsung Knox is focused on delivering security, mobility solutions to enterprise, and combining with BES 12, we will offer more options for customers that need enhanced level of security for Android devices. And that was his exact quote when he had introduced that back in San Francisco this last week. Now, personally, my thoughts on it. Samsung has had a strong security software, no doubt, which is pretty true. So far, I would have to agree because I've been a Samsung daily user for at least a year now, with two different devices. Samsung has had a strong security software, no doubt, as being a Samsung daily user for a year, but BlackBerry has been a little under the radar for a few years now, which I think we can all agree on that, and their phone marketing has been down the crapper Blackberry pretty much. Password. <coughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, BlackBerry and Samsung just, devices <coughs> will be interested to see uh, how this carries out and how far this goes, the partnership between the two, because they're thinking that Knox is going to be able to run on that BES 12. So my first question for the guests here is, do you see this as being a good thing for Samsung and BlackBerry? But for people who do use Knox, I think this is going to be really nice because BlackBerry has a history with this type of thing. Enterprise is kind of their thing. Well, and I was reading an article that said that that's why they were so eager to get in a corporation where they join efforts on this. Yeah. Because so, BlackBerry's got the experience. Yeah, so they have the experience, and, you know, Knox has been out for, like, about a year. So I think it's nice for people 
Uh, who uses Knox? For me, I it's not going to affect me much. I don't use Samsung Knox or Samsung. <laughs> and how far do you think this will go is the next question. I'm just going to leave there. How about you answer this first? I just think that it's going to last as long as BlackBerry does one or two more months. <laughs> one or two more months. I think, well, it's going to carry out throughout Samsung. Um, so just, this, yeah. this is going to go, this is going to carry with it regardless where BlackBerry ends up going. Mm-hmm. I think it, it'll go a long way because I think Knox is going to replace BES. It will. I think in the long run it's going to replace it. Because BlackBerry, I don't. I don't think it's going to last that much longer. And hopefully it won't. Cause... Well, we've seen what they're coming out with now. And to be <laughs> honest, it's pretty sad. Yeah. I so don't even know why. I would not. rather have Samsung Knox. Because if I, I went to a company and they gave me a company phone and I had a BlackBerry, I would be pretty, pretty sad. Um, let's move on to the next section. <laughs> the new Messenger app by Google. Um, so this past week, any device with 4.1, Jelly Bean and Up, We'll now be able to download the new Messenger app, which is a new SMS app uh, with a bunch of new features. Well, not that many, actually. Uh, archiving, search, and a new material design look, which is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Of course. So it's different. Uh, it's basically kind of an update from the old AS AOSP messaging app that was there before, the green one, remember? Um, but now it's got like this. It's the one that's on the Nexus 6. Um, and now it's it's separate from Hangouts, which was the core um, texting app for uh, Nexus 5 last year. So it's, it's kind of weird that it's out. Uh, personally, I think it's really cool. We'll have a review for that out this week, actually. You can check that out. Um, I think it looks really cool, and it, I like the way it works and everything. Hmm. But the question I bring up is, what do you think about Google bringing all its services to Hangouts last year, such as Google, and actually this year as well, it brought in messaging, and, it, and this year it also brought in Google Voice, so any of you who use Google Voice, you can now use that with Hangouts, and now they're bringing, they're just separating it again. So they, they put all this effort into putting uh, chat, Google Chat and uh, SMS and uh, all this stuff into one app, and now they're just like, eh, I'll split it off into two. Um, I think it's really weird that they're doing this because, like, I like the app, but why is it there? In a way, I think it's a big deal just because, like, we had such a, or at least we thought we were going to have such a high success rate with Hangouts, and then they kind of turn around and do this whole messenger thing. Um, I'm trying to remember what day you told me about it. What day did you bring it up to me? It was that day we wanted to go get breakfast. It was two days ago. Yeah. So I've been using it for... A day and a half. Solid. I got it the day it came out because I was like, I want to try this out. Cause How I long like has it been out? Material. The day I got out, it's like, mm, I don't know. But uh, I personally like it. It's it's really nice. Well, I like it too. I and think the material design... The material design on there is gorgeous, yeah. And if you have Lollipop, um, it's even, even better. better because of the shadows and everything. It's just, it's just such a gorgeous app. Um, and it pisses m me off at the same time because... <laughs> How about we move that to Hangouts instead? Because I really like Hangouts, and I use Hangouts a lot. And I want that in Hangouts. I want that design in Hangouts. Uh, Give me material design in Hangouts. That's what I'm saying right now. When people pick up a phone, they don't think to go, oh, Hangouts is my, te is my text messaging app. And that is so true. Like, how many people that have an Android device actually use Hangouts to text? They don't know that's a texting app. They think that's something else, because they have... If they have a Samsung, they have another messaging app. Let's put a freaking cap on here, and let's end it. All right, guys, thanks for uh, checking out another episode of Tech Talk here at Recuse Productions. We really appreciate it. Remember to give a like down there, and also comment anything you want to talk about about today's topics. Uh, respond to every comment you guys comment, or anything you want us to talk about next week. Make sure to check that out. Um, so I'll check you guys out later. All right, see ya.